Hello and welcome to Clan TV for Scottish Rivalry Night as the Brayhead Clan take on a Dundee Stars team which has really struggled in recent weeks, winning only two out of their last ten games. The Clan come into this one after a disappointing midweek result against the Edinburgh Capitals. The big boys in the league will have an eye on these Scottish rivalries. They're hoping that some tartan feuds will strip some points and tear them away from the grasp of the Clansmen, especially as a race for the Elite League hots up and enters the business end of the season. It will be a live broadcast tonight, courtesy of Premier Sports, so there's certainly no place to hide. Let's go ringside with Craig Anderson. Good evening and Merry Christmas from Brayhead Arena. It's the Christmas cracker between Brayhead Clan and Dundee Stars. Clan back on home ice just three days after that 4-2 defeat by Edinburgh Capitals. Dundee Stars come into this game on the back of victory. They defeated Hull Stingrays by two goals to one last Sunday. And despite sitting bottom of the table, they'll be looking at this game to try and create some momentum within the ranks. It's about 40 seconds left of Harper's penalty. It was for slashing. Quick. Lust. Martin single. Dundee comes up against Chris Frank. Grimshaw for McCluskey. McCluskey with a shot. A good finish from Dundee Stars. They take the lead on the power play. Ryan Grimshaw with the assist. McCluskey free in the centre of the clan zone. Swept the puck home. And the visitors take the lead. Okay, so far this near side to our left. He again, McKenzie, free in the middle. Opportunity from Ring Rose, it goes wide. McClan on the break, Stefan Meyer on this left side. Well blocked, there it is, McKee! Paul Swindle has tried to move it away. He didn't know McKee was behind him. The clan skipper back in action, following his suspension, marking his return with a goal. With nearly five minutes left of this first period, Matt Keith has equalised. Plan one, Dundee one. It's going to be a penalty called here. Alan Craig, the referee, moves it. Chevery clears off his own goal. It's going to be a penalty for Brayhead. Bring Rose. Sends it in. Comes in from the left side, sent home by Dundee's newest addition to their team. The 4.30 left of the second period, Ringrose has made it 2-1 for Dundee Stars. On Galskin, Matt Keith in the middle. Dundee leading by two goals to one. But Dundee have to do without Kevin Quick for the next wee while anyway. Checking from behind, Keith goes wide there. Fritch for Keith. Keith sends it in! The tip in from Neil Trim! What a start to the third period! Clan back on level terms! Great play from Matt Keith! Fires the shot in, Neil Trim getting the tip that takes it beyond Mark Chevery. And Clan are back on level terms! Clan 2, Dundee 2. Clan on the wraparound. Oh, opportunity. Sends it wide. And D scoop it away from inside their own zone. Chris Frank chases after it. McKenzie. Oh, straight after him. Klusky, the referee, in the way again. It's a chance. Stefan Meyer. Neil Trim with that one. No doubt this time. Neil Trim. Makes it three goals to two. The assist from Stefan Meyer. Nicely laid on. Trim applied the finish. Clan now ahead by three goals to two. Back underway again. Delighted to see Johnny May in the commentary box right now. 
as the player assistant coach, Zach Fitzgerald. Zach, what have you made of the game so far? Well, I'd love to say I've seen most of it, but I, uh, I was pretty busy there during the second. I was trying to get up here and I ran into a bunch of fans, which I loved, so I kind of... We could have did an autograph sesh there during the second period. But, but that goal I just saw was beautiful. Meyer had a nice, uh, nice poise with the puck there off the rebound. It popped out right to him, and then he went to trim back door. That was beautiful. Now, the, the game is finally poised as it is. There's only a goal in it. How much of, of the game comes down to good defense and then trying to get that, get that killer goal, that, in this case, the fourth goal, that would ultimately finish things off and get the points? Yeah, you really want to, I mean, you don't want to just say, hey, we're going to just play defense. You know, I think kind of a common saying is good defense creates good offense. It's a fine line, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. You don't want to change too many things. You want to just play our game. We got, you know, we're working well in the D zone, and as long as we can stick with that, we'll be fine. Hutchins chance goes wide. McCloskey. Wants to see a player. Gonkowski makes the rebound. Dundee a pool level again. 6.02 left of the third period. We have a tie game. Can't help thinking we cussed that a little bit there, Zach. Yeah, that was, uh, there's just a lot of bodies in front of Jones there. Shot from the point, gets through. Uh, the puck kind of pops up, and uh, I'm not sure who put that in for them, but it gets, gets a kind of lucky little touch on it, goes shelf, and fortunately it ties up the game for us. Trim. Boards for Jeff Smith. Smith to this near side for Stefan Meyer into the middle for Keith. Keith turns and skates. Oh, tries to send it in for Trim, arriving late. Doesn't come off for the clan captain. Still in possession, Gonkowski all over him. Stefan Meyer, again just behind the goal, looking for a purple shot in the middle there. Is this a chance now? Dundee on the breakaway. Shane Lust, two on one. Lust and Grimshaw. Which is there. Good saving from Kyle Jones. Into the final minute. Kevin Quick. Mind his own night. Stundee look to start another attack. As the seconds tick by. Away for Pitt now. Can Clan muster one more wave of attack? Ten seconds. Puck along the backboards behind Dundee's goal. And there we have it. We have a tied game. It's three apiece. Clan still four on three for his last few seconds. Arson on the inside, puts it across. And there, one final chance. Can it go in? 0.9 seconds left. Arson takes it down the wall and throws a nice pass across the goal line there to, I think, trim the back door and it just misses a stick. That was probably the best opportunity we could have asked for, to be completely honest. One second left here, that's going to be tough to score off this face off here. Well, now we're going to head into penalty shots now. How big a responsibility is taking a penalty shot at this stage? Uh, I don't do it a whole lot, uh, unfortunately. So the pressure's not usually on me, but you know, we actually we, we kind of practice this we'll, at the end of practice once in a while, or at least on you know the day before the game we'll do this, and guys, they have moves that they are, feel comfortable doing and uh, are used to doing, or they might switch it up and do something unorthodox, but at the same time, this is something you kind of practice as a kid, you know, this is a, a classic one-on-one -on -one match, player versus goalie, and as long as you can keep your head and stay calm, it's, it's probably fun. I wish I could say I knew better. I wish I was out there now, I might get a chance. Gongalski, for me, man of the match for Dundee tonight. He's up first with the penalty shot. The boos ring out from the home fans, trying to put him off. Kyle Jones saves. Big save by Jones. Gongolski goes forehand and backhand there, and Jones he puts it down like nothing. 
First up for the Greyhead fan. That's Number some confidence 51. boosted for Jonesy right there. Now Scott Pitt has the chance to gain the advantage for Brayhead Clan here. In the penalty shots, Mark Chevery awaits him. Scott Pitt's name rings out across the arena, takes it on the outside, Pitt comes in, sends it wide. Well, still no... Stars, Still nothing given one, for either team. Ringrose. Sean Ringrose next for Dundee Stars. Kyle Jones in the clan goal. Cool, calm. Ringrose beats him. It now Dundee have the advantage. Yep. And then throws the brakes on and shoots the lower blocker. Number 19, Neil Trent. Trim is next for Brayhead. Well, Trim it's on the outside. Tries to dummy Chevery. Chevery gloves it. Now Dundee could be on the verge of victory here. It's John Dolan, the veteran for Dundee Stars. John Dolan. As big a Dundee man as you'll ever meet. Here he comes. Big moment for Kyle Jones. Dolan scores! Dundee have the win on penalty shots. It's a point for Clan, but it's a victory for Dundee Stars. Two wins in a row for them. Dundee Stars fans on their feet in celebration. The Dundee Stars well, that's disappointing for us there, for sure. Two losses in a row to our division teams here. And, you know, hopefully we can uh, have them come back tomorrow in Dundee here. And you're back playing tomorrow as well, Zach. Looking forward to it? Really looking forward to it. Especially now with the bitter taste in my mouth after watching that. You know, it makes me want to win that much more. Thanks for having me, Craig. Huh? Appreciate it. Pleasure, Zach. Thanks very much. Dundee Stars win on penalty shots. It was a close game, but the Stars prevailed. The penalty shots from Sean Ringrose and John Dolan proving decisive. Clan go down 4-3 after penalty shots. A disappointing outcome in the end. What can you take from the game tonight? Yeah, obviously frustrating. I thought we uh, controlled large, large portions of the play, but we just couldn't find a way uh, past uh, Chevrolet tonight. So uh, disappointing. You know, I thought we had a good performance. I thought the Keith line looked dangerous all night, and uh, but special teams, uh, special teams let us down here tonight. It comes to penalty shots, though, anything can happen. That's that's just how narrow the margins are. Yeah, you can't uh, can't leave it down to penalty shots and and expect to win here. So. You know, ultimately we, we had three minutes of five on three, and you didn't score. You know, you know you don't uh, you don't uh, deserve to win if you if you can't capitalize on on that uh, on those opportunities. So that was a difference. You know, we um, we struggled on the special teams, and and we didn't capitalize on our chances. We had a lot of chances, and and Dundee hung around. We let them hang around, and they seemed to capitalize on every chance they had. And it was one of those games. It's uh, it's frustrating. It's another point lost. You know, uh, at home. Um, which is typically something we haven't done all year. So, but we got to uh, we got to find a way and regroup here. We're in a bit of a bit of a bit of a grind, and we got to got to work our way out of it. You've saw Clan a couple of times this season. What have you made of them compared to perhaps last season when you were here? Big, strong, physical team, and then a guy like Smith has come in, and he's an oak tree. This is a team that top to bottom. Uh, I thought the Ezra's line was good to, tonight. I mean, they just roll at you, and they're an impressive side, and they're going to be knocking on the, on the title door. Throughout the season, I don't think a loss to Edinburgh and, and a shootout loss tonight will change anything. I think they're they're going to be steaming towards that. You know, Fife beat Nottingham tonight. This this is a really good league, and you can't you can't get down about losing to any team in this league. It's a really good. Uh, and for us, it's really fun because you never know, right? You, people say, "Why did you pick two versus 10? Well, there's a shootout win for for ten tonight. That's why we picked the game, and you just know, don't know what's going to happen. I I do think the Brayhead Clan are going to be right there or thereabouts for for the league title. And I, I love watching Trim play. He's an absolute magician, and uh, it's an exciting team. Clan fans should be should be excited. Matt Hayward joins us now here on Clan TV. Matt, thanks for joining us. Firstly, how's the injury? Uh, it's really sore right now. <laughs> 
Uh, can, can you remember what happened on, on Wednesday, just when you, you think back to the game and what happened to Riley Emerson? Uh, yeah, I know the puck, uh, Jonesy saved the puck and it was going towards the corner, so went down to try and uh, try and clear it, but before I got there, I just felt a little thing in my in my back, and fortunately, I was a bad like distance away from the board, so as soon as I hit the boards, I felt my shoulder pop and hit the ice, and it popped back. And I was I was more concerned about trying to get out of the way of the fight, and then it, the pain really kicked in. So. so the last thing you want is two guys like Emerson and Jeff Smith falling on top of you as well. Yeah, but thankfully I watched the video back, and Chris Franks uh, gets in the way, so <laughs> could have been three big bodies. So how long do you think you'll you'll be out for then? Uh, I'm not sure right now. Uh, there's no head and X-ray. There's no bone damage, which is good. So it's just muscle strains, I think. And uh, but we'll maybe go for an MRI and. Because the physio thinks it's my lab, something like a la- my labrum or something like that. So uh, see what the results of that are. But hopefully we've got a good physio team here, so I'm pretty sure I'll be back. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Now you watch the game tonight. Are you a player that, that likes to watch? Can you sit and watch a game, or would you much rather be out there? Oh, I get way more nervous watching a game than I do playing a game. So I don't like it, obviously, because I want to do. I want to go out there and help all my friends and all my teammates. So 